What's good guys, Sean from Catch-22 Nonprofit here and back with another video. This one was this question was posed to me by a client of ours about SEO for nonprofits. So whenever someone hears SEO, they always think, well they don't really think because people don't know what SEO is. Search engine optimization. People don't really understand what SEO is, but they think they know and they need it and, every, and this is the classic thing that always happens whenever we build a website for somebody. I need SEO. Okay, thank you very much, you need SEO. So in this video I'm going to explain to you a little bit more about SEO, how it works Works, how the game has changed over the past several years and the quick easy hacks that you guys can use for your organization to help your to help your sites rank higher and what you can do to maintain that ranking so before we dive in don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so that more I can create more great videos for you guys and we can keep continue the education of nonprofit marketing and give you a clear path on how you can succeed so without further ado let's dive in so what is SEO search engine optimization so back in the day, SEO was something that you needed to sit there and crack, you, you had to work and crack the code with Google and with all these, with the different search engines to constantly keep working and writing, writing based on key search terms, what people were looking for. So there are multiple schools of SEO and multiple schools of thought with SEO. There's white hat and there's black hat. And when you do things the white hat way, you're doing it with legal built, you're doing it within the confines of proper link building, proper backlinks, all sorts of fun stuff. In this video, we're not going to talk about backlinks. We're going to talk about straight up SEO and how a simple little plugin can change your life. So when it comes to optimizing your website and optimizing your your business for search, there are some wonderful plugins out there that WordPress uses. We prefer Yoast. Yoast is an amazing plugin built out in Sweden, and they give you the. It's basically you download the plugin, and each page it tells you exactly what you need, what keywords you should be writing in your content, and how you should be optimizing the metadata, the tags, and how you should be optimizing the page. It's very easy, very simple. I'm going to drop a link to Yoast over there in the comments, and what happens is. Google's crawler bots, the same crawler bots who crawled your page when you were applying for Google for nonprofits, which we talked about in the previous videos, they go through and they see what's on the page and they help you rank higher. And with Yoast, it basically plugs everything in for you so you don't have to do any thinking. All you have to do is write your pages based accordingly with key search terms. And Yoast helps you pick those search terms so you don't have to be guessing, well, I don't know, what is this, what is this? It's very simple, very easy. and it helps with your organization's optimization. But the best part about your organization having Google for nonprofits is you just have to pay for ads. You don't necessarily need to focus on SEO. People think that they need to focus on SEO, hardcore SEO. But it's a process, it takes a long time, and Google can knock you off. The algorithm could change any in any second, and all that hard work is gone down the toilet. My personal approach, run paid search ads or run your Google Grant ads if you want to keep ranking higher. And we can talk about that paid versus SEO in another video. But again, if you like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to drop a link to Yoast over there. And until next time, have a great day.